why you've preferred quality of life and like what you optimize yeah. for like your so, values essentially yeah a lot of people like there's this whole uh solopreneurship like if you're in the world of justin welsh or, or in my world like there's this whole battle between like should you be a solopreneur or should you like mm -hmm. go full scale hire a team like grow a business and there's like I hate that there's this debate because it's like you have to pick one or the other. And it's like, do whatever the hell works for you. Like, there is no right or wrong Get answer. one assistant if you like, want. Like, like yeah. I'm going to talk a lot about pro solopreneurship. Justin's going to talk a lot about solopreneurship because we're solopreneurs. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that, like, that's going to be the right fit for you. For me, like, it was the right fit because of my personality and the lifestyle that I wanted. Um, I make plenty of money doing what I do. I don't have to work a ton. And I don't have to worry about anybody else. Like the aspiration of like growing a company to multiple millions and having a team is like that sounds fun mm -mm. but like it's not, <laughs> it's not what fun. i want my life to look yeah. like i love like just worrying about myself and my family as selfish or as capitalistic as that may sound like mm -hmm. i get a lot of flack for that i recently tweeted about it and we're like like i got so much flack for just wanting to like keep to myself um and how selfish that was and it's like <laughs> <laughs> like what do we all why are we all here telling like, each other to live dude. <laughs> I, I don't know it, it it just for me it's like i don't like to manage people mm -hmm. i think people are awesome but like there's not enough talk about the negative side of having a team not that having a team is inherently bad i mean you can do infinitely more with a team than you could by yourself but the negative side of that and the consequences of it aren't talked about that often it's always like just hating on solopreneurs. It's like, yeah, well, there's negatives to to doing to growing at all costs oh, and yeah. that sort of thing too. So it's like, it's an ego make, thing. Yeah. So if like if I'm making enough money and I don't have to work a ton, I'm doing what I love and my stress level is at a at a rate that I can handle. Why, like, why embark on scaling and growing and dealing with all the pains of that? And like, I'm fine doing what I'm doing. So like, I don't know. I get that question a lot. Like that's like the number one question. It's like, why don't you just hire? No, no. I think you have I the have right mindset. To. It just adds so many more variables and more problems. And mm -hmm. I think there's like this thing in our culture where if like a company raised a ton of money, how many, like they're up to 50 employees. Yeah. That's like an indicator of like success when yeah. in reality, like that could be a huge indicator of mismanagement. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, and it's, yeah, you it mentioned hurt, it on the last video yeah. on Twitter, right? Like hurt. they're operating with less now. And it's doing, a huge they're, trend. They're doing just fine. Right. Or seemingly doing just fine. Yeah. It's a, it's a trend, but I think it's a trend that like trend may be a negative word. Bad like, term. It, it's for, something yeah. that will, I think people are opening their minds to what's possible with a smaller team when there's not enough, when there's not so much employee bloat mm -hmm. and too many cooks, cookies in the kitchen. Cause like design joy, not to like at the risk of sounding not humble, but like it does more a month in revenue than most agencies that have 10 or 20 employees. Mm -hmm. It's just me. Mm -hmm. Like people need to realize what's possible if they streamline their processes and sell it in a certain way. Right. Um, and I think Twitter's a good example of that.